Welcome back to Farming Simulator. And today I'm going to have a look at five things to do to make more money when you are playing Farming Simulator. This is really aimed at people starting out. So if you know all of this stuff, that's great. If you've got suggestions for other things, stick them in the comments. Let's try and help people get started with playing Farm Sim. So first one, obviously in front of me, we have chickens chickens are a really nice way to get started in farm sim they are really cheap for some reason they're doing really weird graphical things in my game today i have no idea why um they're also really cheap to feed so to buy a chicken is 50 quid you want to buy them at six months old because that way they will be producing ma the maximum amount of eggs straight away um each chicken over the course of a year will produce 84 liters of eggs and will eat 60 liters of food. So for their feeding, you are looking at wheat, barley or sorghum. You can either buy that in the store. So base game, it's um, 1400 pounds, dollars or euros for a thousand liters. Um, there are cheap options. You can use the farm supply pack and it will be significantly less so you could go that way you could grow the crops yourself it is definitely worth growing the crops and feeding them chickens that is very profitable um i'll put some links in for that uh in the card or in the description depending on how many i can fit in um and you're basically looking at you know if you put in a thousand liters of chicken food, which is going to cost you about 1400 pounds, that will turn into about three and a half thousand pounds worth of eggs. So they're quite cheap to buy, quite cheap to feed. And um, depending on the the mods that you've got installed, um, the base game ones are quite expensive. You know, 6,000 6, for 30 chickens. 79,000 for 360 chickens but there are lots of modded options which are much cheaper um so we've got the animal barn pack from alien gym which is 15,000 pounds to put down a chicken coop which will hold 360 chickens let me just get a bit of empty space to show you so that's what that one looks like um there's the basic pasture which is bas basically a trigger and a bunch of land it's quite a big patch of land actually but five grand 450 chickens so again really good price um that's by foo farmer we've got the fences husbandry's pack by cookie cat costs a little bit more but 720 chickens or there is this one which is 150 chickens for just two grand um we've got the large placeable chicken pen by mac trucker um that holds 520 grand um and then by rowdy christy one we've got the um rustic chicken pasture and i'll put links for all of these below and they're all all pretty pretty cheap and you know you can get yourself quickly started with chickens and be making some money so number four and these are in no particular order is contracts um some people are a bit funny on contracts but for me contracts are a really good way of making money um if you're curious about how well it works take a look at my uh recent maple farm videos where there is a separate contracting business being run by some of the patrons and they are breaking the cash in so um there are different kinds of contracts uh baiting is generally very profitable particularly the size ones you get to keep the excess bales and you can sell those and make a load of money that links into the last one i'm going to show you about increasing how much money you can make these do take a bit of time but you know definitely a good way to make some extra cash um cultivating not some cult things like cultivating and plowing i find are not so profitable because they take quite a long time um fertilizing are my favorite contracts so um either borrowing the kit or get yourself a cheap fertilizer spreader there are some really good modded ones um and you can hammer through these things really quickly yes you have to buy the fertilizer but you are going to make that money back significantly more i think from stuff that i've done recently i doubled the money i spent on fertilizer so you know a nice quick way of increasing your bank balance um if you use something again like the farm supply pack you can get the fertilizer or other mods there are other mods you can get the farm the fertilizer really cheap and use solid vert because it's cheaper definitely a good way to go 
um, harvesting contracts. Again, really good money maker and fun. Most people like harvesting contracts. If you're on PC, you could use the collect straw on missions mod as well to make even more money because you get all the straw. Um, but you get usually you get a bit of excess crop you can sell. So yeah, really good way. And also contracts if you're just starting out, a really good way to experience all the different things that you do. Because you can borrow all of the equipment. It will give you the equipment you need generally. Um, and you're gonna you can play the game. You can make a bit of money. Um, I said field work ones not so much. So plowing, I really enjoy plowing. So I do do plowing contracts, but they're quite time consuming. So unless you've got your own big kit, I'd maybe avoid those. Um, seeding contracts generally pretty profitable as well, pretty quick. Um, and I tend to avoid spraying contracts because the the herbicide cost is quite high. So yeah, but contracts definitely a really good way of uh, making some money particularly when you're starting out if your farm's quite small and you've not got a lot to do then fill that time in with a bunch of contracts the next one is a bit of a, a personal opinion of mine and that is that land is king um you can't make money out of equipment well apart from what I've just said about contracts. But generally, the way you are going to make money is by farming land and raising animals. And for both of those, you need land. Um, so I would always put preference on buying fields over buying equipment you don't essentially need. Um, and linked to that, you can always borrow the equipment to farm the land. I've got a really good video on that. And in a lot of cases, it's more economical to lease the equipment you need from the shop than to buy it so if you're purely focused on making money then buy more land and buy less expensive kit particularly things like combines you know you spend half a million pounds on a combine that will get you a lot of field so i'm on maple farm here yep maple farm um and you know that that would get you just randomly clicking around the map at least five fields which you could grow crop in. Um, so yeah, that's uh, number three. Number two is grow the right crops. So uh, there's a bunch of videos on this as to who has the most profit, which, which are the most profitable crops. I've got one, which I'll link below. Um, Scroft has got a really good one. I think Farmer Cop's got a really good one. Um, I haven't checked that we all have the same answer, but you know, that's part of the joy of this kind of thing. But growing the right crops really helps increase your profitability. And I'll put on the screen the chart that I had from my video. Um, one of the things that I think is really interesting is that is quite often people will tell you to grow canola as a cash crop. It's one of the least profitable crops in the game. So, and that's based on, you know, land area farmed. Generally, once you get into, in my list, anything from wheat and up, you're kind of at even ground. So soybeans, oats, barley, wheat, assuming you sell the straw, all make you about the same amount of money. Obviously, if you've got straw, you've got to bail it. Um, and then getting into some of the other crops, things like potatoes, cotton, beets, they all make a lot more because they're really time consuming. And that's why they're more profitable. Um, poplar and sugarcane are great examples of that. You know, those take a long time to plant, a long time to harvest, but you make a lot of money back from them. Uh, top of the list is May silage harvested with a forage harvester. That gives you a huge, um, huge yield, really good income. And then particularly if you put that through a BGA, you can make even more. Grass is also a really good option, but I didn't include that in this list because I wanted to focus on the farming crops rather than just growing grass that is another really good way of making money early on grow plant some grass fields mow them make silage and use what's coming up as our last tip and last and by no means least productions and in particular biogas plants so these are typically very expensive most maps have bomb built in if it's not included in what you own already, it is very expensive, but there are some mods available which make it more accessible. For example, the mini BGA in front of me. Um, this is a mod that I have released. It is um, 55,000 pounds to place. Um, 
and it also runs much faster than most of the base game productions um so a little bit of a uh, an ad for my mod but the main reason i think these are really useful is to say this this particular bj is not very expensive if you're doing those silage contracts that i mentioned earlier on your excess silage bales can go in here you're going to roughly and i do mean very roughly double the amount you get back on those by putting them through a bga um not exact numbers if you've got some animals at this point if you've got some cows or some pigs and you're getting manure and slurry if you put that through the bga you are going to get depending on the map um and the cell points you have installed you'll get about 10 times more than the base game price for manure by putting it through a, a bga and on top of that you get digestate so you're getting some fertilizer back for free essentially um, so yep yeah, that has been five ways to make more money in farm sim i'm sure i've got this completely wrong if you believe i've got it completely wrong stick it in the comments below um, if you found this helpful give the video a like if you're new to the channel think about subscribing maybe stick around and watch some of my regular videos do lots of tutorials lots of let's plays um i'm gonna say thank you to the patrons and the youtube channel members at this point appreciate you guys supporting the channel and uh yeah i will see you next time